when you're in it, it's so natural and, and easy. Like there's no, there's no contrivance. It's not forced. It just kind of, it's like, there's a flow that you get into. And regardless of what your discipline is, I mean, certainly I learned all this in music and I apply so much of this to, to photography and art In music, you learn your basic chords, you learn your scales and everything. And then in a group dynamic, when you're with other musicians, you have these set structures and like a really good band, they, they call it being tight, which means you just kind of, you all flow together. You just kind of look at each other and you have this certain structure, but you can all go off and improvise and go off on these tangents and you all kind of know we're, we're going to do the change here. We're going to do this. And then what makes it really interesting is then the audience becomes part of that. So, so then there's this flow, not only between you and your fellow musicians, but it also, the audience becomes included in it. So as an artist, it's more solitary because you're, you know, you work with models. So you have that flow at the, at the photo shoot or, you know, if a painter has it with a, with a model as well, where you try and get the flow going with the model to where you, they start, evoking the emotion that you want to evoke in your piece or you tap into something an expression that they make and you're like oh oh, give me that again next thing you know so you've got this flow going with with the model then you know you get the flow going with with the the people who will interact with the image now of course that's not in real time that comes later but you get that feedback from people and a lot of times people will pick up on something in the image that you didn't really intend that you didn't think was there. And then you realize, okay, that, that actually is there or it's valid because, because their interpretation picks it up and it makes, it kind of changes the piece in, in an essence after the fact. Music is, is an interesting art form because it's invisible. It's just something that kind of flows through the air, but it's so direct to people's emotions. You know, art is more linear, but I think even still there's a cultural context to art that we all pull from. But to me, it's like, what's interesting is that could, could art succeed to me, the best art could succeed without that cultural context. So in other words, my art kind of references a lot of classic art, but could my art succeed if you took some of my images and showed them to maybe uh, um, someone who is from a tribe in Africa who had no, um, recollection or had no knowledge of Western art, would it still succeed? Would they still get something out of it? I'd like to think they would. And, and I would like to think that they would maybe pick up on the emotional content of it. You know, there's this vehicle that we have that is our influences, but like the most important thing is this this deep wellspring that we are part of, that it's our emotions our being, whatever it is, taps into this kind of deep archetypal wellspring. And that's the creative flow. 